Hi there, it's Naomi Judge here, naturopath and nutritionist. Uh, thanks for signing in to my free three-part video series. I will be revealing the most powerful habits of the super healthy. These are habits which you can implement into your daily routine to help you reach your peak health and well-being. Good health is only a few good habits away. Many people feel to reach their optimal health and well-being because they either are not consistent or they focus on the wrong thing. So some people might just focus on building muscle but neglect mental well-being. Other people might increase vegetables but not think about their macronutrients. It's all about balance at the end of the day. So in order to achieve your full health potential, you'll need to employ daily habits which not only support your physical well-being but also fulfill your emotional, mental and spiritual needs as well. So habit number one is getting your morning routine down packed. Many healthy people have a fantastic morning routine. Everyone's is a little bit different, such as Arnold Schwarzenegger, Tony Robbins and even Madonna. So your morning routine can be made up of different habits, but the main idea is to have a balanced morning routine. So jumping out of bed and doing intense exercise can put unwanted stress on your nervous system. Or meditating for hours in the morning can leave you just feeling groggy. You need to have that balance. So a great morning routine that supports you will have a balance of movement, detoxifying and also quiet time. So the best habits to have in your morning routine might be oil pulling first thing in the morning. So oil pulling is a fantastic routine to have. You can take two teaspoons of oil, coconut or sesame, pop it into the mouth and swirl it around. So swirl it in between your teeth, backwards and forwards, and do this for about 20 minutes. So during this 20 minutes, we'll be detoxing the mouth. During this time, you can have a shower, you can sit and read, or you can just relax. And after the 20 minutes, spit the oil out, wash your mouth out with water, then floss, rinse again, and then brush. And you need to do this every morning. Then after that, you can have a big glass of chilled water. Now, it's really, really important that you don't eat or drink anything in the morning before cleaning your mouth because your mouth will have had got lots of bacteria in it that's come up from the stomach. So you need to get rid of this before eating and drinking. Otherwise, you will just be reconsuming the bacteria. So always make sure you clean the mouth out. Then have a nice big glass of chilled water followed by a really good quality probiotic. Next, it's time for quiet time. Quiet time or meditation. Now, don't get too put off thinking that you have to do hours of meditation. You can just do 10 minutes like me. I do 10 minutes every morning. So find a comfy spot, sit cross-legged, or sit in a chair, or you can even sit up in bed. And if you're like me and find it difficult, you can use a meditation app like Headspace, or you can just set your alarm for 10 minutes for it to go off so you know when it's up. Next, you get into the meditation. So it's a really good idea to just start deep breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. You can count to 10 while you're doing it and then repeat this three times. During this time, what you can do is you can just think about each part of the body. So scan the body, find any tough bits, any sensitive bits, any tight bits, any relaxed bits, any painful bits. So really think about your body, really think about how you feel and how you feel in your body and how you feel sitting there. Next you'll find that thoughts are coming and thoughts are coming going. Now the trick here is to not grab onto a thought and start thinking about that thought. Don't get caught up in the thoughts. You are not your thoughts. What you need to do is let the thought come let the thought go. Let the thought come. Let the thought go. And slowly, the gap between the thoughts will get bigger and bigger. So it may start off like this, then slowly it'll turn into a gap this big. That's the bliss point. That's what you're looking for, that beautiful meditation right in between the thoughts. Get longer and longer until it's just one big, beautiful bliss meditation. But it will take a while. <laughs> it's not easy at first but just sit with it, repeat it. And the, to master it, it's just about consistency and doing 10 minutes daily. 
Once you've completed your quiet time, it's now to do the fun bit and move around. Some people like to go for a walk, yoga, others like to stretch, others like to do Pilates. I use a seven minute app on my iPhone. So it's 10 exercises, you repeat them 10 minutes for 10, you repeat 10 exercises for 30 seconds and you do this for seven minutes. So that's a great way to start the day. Another exercise that's really good is actually to do a plank. So you hold a plank and you hold the plank for 30 seconds or to a minute and then you do 10 star jumps and you repeat this three times. Fantastic way to start the day. Gives you a bit of strength and also a little bit of cardio and the star jumps get your lymphatic system moving. Being healthy is also about inner strength. So those who succeed in reaching their optimal health goals also have visualizations, affirmations. So these can help you achieve your goals plus stay on target. So take three minutes out after to go over your affirmations, whatever they may be. You may just have one affirmation saying you want to be strong and positive for the day. So just really feel it and go over and get into that space. Visualize your day, visualize your wins, visualize your achievements, visualize being happy, visualize you with your family, visualize whatever it is to, you need to visualize to get into that positive mindset for the day. Being healthy is all about being positive, having positive thoughts and having a positive mindset. So all these habits are a powerful addition to your morning routine. These should take about an hour. If you find you're rushed in the morning, never organized, rushing from task to task, get up an hour earlier so you're not rushing. If you have to organize your family lunches and breakfasts and that type of thing, then do what you can the night before and in the morning get up before your family so you can be nice and organized before they all wake up and you can have your powerful habits done for the day. Doing this mat group daily will make you feel grounded, will make you feel positive and it will make you feel ready for anything the day throws at you. You know that you'll feel better the more you do this. And also remember, it's not about you being perfect, it's about you showing up and it's about you committing and following through on your commitments. So if you think you can't commit to three of these morning routines, just to commit to one. If you can't do the oil pulling, just do the quiet time. If you can't do the quiet time, just do the movement. So just pick one, write it into your calendar now as a non-negotiable. So it's in your calendar daily for the rest of the year. You have to do it, it's a non-negotiable. And you'll love doing it after a while because you'll notice how fantastic it makes you feel. So I hope you found this enlightening. I hope you've learned a few things and I hope you've just written a nice daily habit into your calendar that you'll start tomorrow. So next time I'm gonna be going over the powerful dietary habits of the super healthy. So until then, stay healthy. See you next time. Thank you.